I'm Teresa. I'm going to be doing a little texturizing with some dry cutting shears today. So Marsha and I have been doing kind of a, a bit of a shag cut with a lot of layers. And so what I'm doing is just going in and just kind of debulking to blend this and create a little bit more movement. And so it's easier for her because she has very thick hair with some texture. So pretty much I'm just going in and taking some sections. I'm just doing a deep cut, but I'm not doing a super fine texture because she does have curl to her hair. So going in and doing more of like a little V cut to pull some of that weight out. Especially through the back here because it gets really heavy. And that's the Musashi MR6 that you're using? It is. I love this shear. It is such a great one for doing finishing work on dry hair. And that's lifting the weight out and still leaving the length. It is, yes. So it's just taking bulk, but leaving it a little bit more of like cutting in little V chunks so it doesn't get wispy with her curly hair. You can see right here how it has that weight. So just kind of putting that, taking it, and just going in to blend that out a little bit and take out some of that weight. And what is your client going to feel when she does her hair? So it should be much easier and have a lot of movement through the hair. Um, and just so she's not struggling to get it to lay smoother um, just because it's taking that weight so she doesn't get these bubbles in her hair but it'll have the kind of movement and that shaggy feel to it Texture in the bangs just to lighten those up. So yeah, just going through. Yeah, that just created a lot more movement and took a lot of the weight out of the butt, the ends of all the hair. This has been Teresa. If you have any more questions about what I did today or the Masashi Shears, please go to MasashiShears.com and put in the code TN101 to get a discount.